everyone welcome back hope you're all okay another christmas nail art design for you today if you're here rustling i've got my coat on my big puffy coat because it is freezing and um, i'm going to use lucky number nine from madam glam and i just had to take a minute to appreciate the design on the bottle the color it's just beautiful it's like it's obviously like a baby blue but it's also like a french blue or a powder blue it's got like a hint of lilac in it and I really like it. So I'm going to do that on the thumb to begin with. Um, yeah, back to the bottles. I think this whole year, 2023, Madame Glam have gone for like the celestial or like astrological theme behind all of their bottles, all of their labels, even down to like the names of the bottles. Sorry, the colours, the colours. Um, yeah, I've loved it. This is i do this is going on the ring finger um yeah i think 90 to 95 percent of 2023's colors and labels of madame glam's polishes have all been based around astrological signs and star signs and just you know what i mean like space theme <laughs> which is great i love it absolutely love it so this is the ring finger i do it's like a beautiful sheer jelly pink like an apricot color but i'm going to do that lucky number nine and all the other nails and it's going to have two coats so that is them they actually only need one coat it's so pigmented it's mental and then i have grabbed Savilan's clear acrylic powder which i'm running low of so i need to order some more clear acrylic powder and then a bit of that lucky number nine. So the same colour that we've put on the nail itself uh, on a palette. And then I'm going to velvet matte top coat the thumbnail. Give that a cure for 30 seconds. The same with all Madame Glam's gel polishes. Their bases, their tops, the velvet matte. All their colours apart from the pudding gels and the art gel paints. They need 60 seconds. So I'm just going to quickly show you how I like load up my brush, prepare my brush before painting. So I'm just twirling it around in my fingers to make sure that all those bristles get splayed into that gel polish. So it's going to coat every single one of those bristles and then I just wipe it off. So it's all in those bristles. None of it's pulling. It's perfect. Uh, so and then I'm going to do real time of the sweater nail because I think I go a bit too fast most of the time and this design's a little bit different as well so making sure that you have quite a lot of product on your brush because we want it to stand out a little bit more and you're just doing like weird S shapes I buggered that one up a little bit but it's fine we can fix it so you're going down to the right at an angle and then down again and just do the next one start it just underneath where you're about to turn right on the one above and then turn right for that one just where the one above ends does that make sense it's so much easier to just watch isn't it but always make sure as well that you're putting like there's going to be a bit missing from the one at the top you know that line that i just put at the top so that will be the one that's not on the nail um, but we're carrying that pattern on and then i've just done a line down the side and then i'm just going to dot a few little blobs and then before i do the rest of it this is only because i don't have confidence in myself to not mess it up i know that if i don't sprinkle the acrylic powder on now and cure this section and I did the next section without curing, I probably will mess it up. So if you need to do that, it's absolutely fine. The best of us do it, so it's all good. So after you've put the acrylic powder on, you want to dust off the excess just by tapping it, and then you want to have a look at the, the design, the pattern that you've put on. If it starts going shiny again, you want to put some more clear acrylic powder on it, and just keep doing that until it doesn't go shiny. If it goes shiny, it means the gel has... It can suck up some more of that clear acrylic powder so if it won't go shiny again you know that it's sucked up all it can and you can give it a cure and then i always like to use a stiff 
like a nail brush to get rid of any excess acrylic powder. I feel like when there's a lot of detail like sweater nails, the big fluffy brushes or the little fluffy brushes don't seem to get in all of the creases and the nooks and crannies as well as a scrubber. Um, so I'm going to create the opposite like it's a mirror image of what we've just done to the left. And I can't remember where I saw this design. I definitely saw it on Instagram. It's got to have been Instagram. Um, but I don't know who did it. But it's just a mirror image. So instead of going to the right, we're going to the left. Oh, and look at this. Footprints in the snow. Just had this delivered this week. And I love it so, so much. It is a glitter mix. It's got fine iridescent white glitter, iridescent glitter. It's got I don't know, just so much. Circles, big circles, little circles. I've got the snowflakes and they all shine, all the different colours. And it's one of those glitters that just looks good, matte or glossy. Um, so for the mm, index finger, this one, is it? Yes, index finger. I'm just going to do it to the right side of the nail. So I'm trying to pick up some of the circles and just, I think... Yeah, I think one snowflake was more than enough. Um, I think any more than that would have like taken away from what I'm about to put on top of it. But I want to make sure I put some of that fine glitter in it as well. And I've done the same to the middle finger. And then this is the ring finger just in that top corner. The only thing I didn't do on the middle finger was add a snowflake. Which I only did because I don't think it needed it for what I'm going to put on top. But you'll see in a second. So I'm going to do the pinky finger first. That's all matte top coated. So, so nice matte top coated. So pretty. So for the... It's the... Yeah, the pinky finger. Yeah. So confused. And I'm looking at the nails already as well. Like they're in my hand. I'm staring at them. Uh, so I'm going to do in black the standard simple but gorgeous looking snowflake it when you see them for the first time you're like oh my god it's so intricate and then when you actually break it down and look at it properly you're like hang on a minute it's like the easiest snowflake ever and i love it i put way too much chrome powder on this so i've cured it for 30 seconds um, and i only meant to dip the tiny tiny bit of my finger in that chrome powder and I just push my whole finger in, but it's fine. So I've dusted off the excess and then gone over all of what I've just done. That snowflake, just drawn on top of it again, like I did with the black, but with the top coat, gave that a cure and then got some alcohol on. I haven't got a lint-free wipe. I've used them all and I thought that I had ordered a bunch, but I hadn't. So I've had to order loads so I don't run out over Christmas. Um... Yeah, wipe off the rest of the chrome polish, chrome polish, chrome powder after you've put the top coat on and cured that. And then you are left with that gorgeous gold snowflake. So this is the middle finger now. So I'm going to take some of the design off the thumb, the sweater nail, and just put it to the left hand side of the middle finger. Literally like a carbon copy of the thumbnail but just the left hand side of it and then once that is all mattified up with acrylic powder and sweated up we're going to do a different snowflake i know proper pushing the boat out and treating you <laughs> so i've done dot in the middle dot at the top dot at the bottom a bit like you're doing like a clock but you're missing out loads of numbers so we've only done 12 2 4 6 oh We've done two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. There you go. Perfect. Um, and then we've dragged through like we would with the other one. And then I've done a dot in between each of those dendrites. Someone told me what they were called, the snowflake arms. I'm sure she said dendrites. It's probably wrong. Um, a dot in between each of them. And then pull that out to cure, chrome powder, rub off excess, no, brush off excess top coat cure rub off excess and just like hold on to your seats but this is another different snowflake <gasps> i don't know what came over me 
I wanted to do lots of different snowflakes apparently. Um, so this one, dot in the centre, a big dot, big dot. We're going to do it as if you can only see... No, it's not half. Oh, I should have done that. I should have done it where the dot was like, like the snowflakes cut in half and it was like on half of the nail. I should have done that. Um, that's what I was aiming for when I was doing this a little bit. I didn't want the whole snowflake. I wanted some of it to be cut off. But I think it would have looked better if it was just the one side of the snowflake rather than, oh, there's a bit missing here and there's a bit missing on that side too. Uh, oh, well, it doesn't matter. Uh, we pull down big stick top and bottom and then little sticks and the diagonal bits and then using like the the bit that blobs on the end of the brush use that to create some blobs on the dendrite slash arms of the snowflake do i've done three of them on either side of the stick for the top and the bottom and then we've done one either side of the stick for the diagonally bits i want a little bit extra as well on the big ones too and then we're going to join up some little triangly bits um in the center bit I'm saying bit a lot in this video you, you can see what i'm doing it's so hard to explain triangle bits in the center of the bits and then a dot on top of all those bits and then the same thing cure it <laughs> chrome it top coat it wipe it no cure it wipe it you know you know the drill I'm thinking of changing my upload times, maybe days, I don't know. So I don't know whether 12 o'clock, because 12 p.m. my time, like in British time. Um, and I'm thinking of changing it to 6 p.m. British Standard Time, GMT. I don't know. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to hold a poll and just have a quick gander at what people think. Because uh, obviously it's you who are going to watch the video so whatever time is best for you or oh, grab some spider gel I hardly ever use this stuff um, but i thought i'd quickly show you how i go about doing it it's a lot different on a real person obviously this is a tip and there's nothing above the nail there's no finger there so i will try and show you on a real finger but i've just done a few little bits of lines and then we're going to give that a cure i haven't top coated over those lines I don't feel like you really need to. It doesn't really leave a sticky, tacky layer. I think it'll be fine. Oh, we're on the last nail as well. I won't be able to chat. Um, might be a good thing, to be honest, because I ramble, don't I? Uh, but I've just drawn... This is a little tip I picked up from Katarina... K I can never say her name. Katarina Ketty. She's the most incredibly talented nail artist. And I see her all the time. Uh, matting and buffing a nail and then drawing with just a standard pencil like getting a rough outline of where she wants the the image or the painting or whatever to be before committing and going in with paint um yeah so i don't know whether to change it to 6 p.m and change the days up a bit so i want i really 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 want to record like i did last year one video a day first of the 21st first of the 25th of december just like the one nail thing and still be able to do my two uploads a week on a wednesday and sunday but i don't know whether it's going to be completely possible obviously we're still homeschooling obviously my mom's still a bit not 100 percent so i don't know but back to the gunk we have used lucky lucky number nine on his hat and i've cured it I like to cure as I go. Um, and then the white, perfect white, on his beard, cured that. And I haven't bothered with like, any details or anything as yet. Um, autumn Aura for his nose, and then give that a cure. Put way too much polish on for his nose, but it's okay. Uh, gave that a cure. And then we can start adding some of the little details. So I've put the black dots on his hat. I'm going to do the exact same thing with the chromey snowflakes as I do with the dots, little polka dots. Then I've grabbed the black gel paint from Madame Glam. Or I've ordered Born Pretty's paint gel to see if they they like match up with the 
the amazingness that is the gel paints from Madame Glam. Because um, they've discontinued the white and black, if you didn't know. You probably know because I talk about it all the freaking time because I'm so upset about it. Outlined his hat and just did a little light line under his nose. Cured that and I've given everything a matte top coat. And then I had to go back in and glossy top coat the gold chrome dots. Um, and then we're going in with the perfect white again for the brim of his, brim of his hat. Use a thin brush just to pull some of that polish out to create like the fuzzies acrylic clear acrylic over that dust it all off and do the exact same thing to the bubble on his hat pull all the bits out to make it all fuzzy clear acrylic that and then we're going to do some little tiny lines on his beard to give it some of that like definition and the the depth and the detail and again do the same thing with a clear acrylic Dust all that over and then get your scrubbing brush, your nail brush and scrub brush out of it. Oh, that was a long video. I just realised how long I've been talking for, but they are done. Please let me know what you think. As always, I love to hear your comments. And if you have any questions about anything or any techniques or anything, let me know in the comments. I always reply. Everything I've used is always linked in the description box down below, unless it's unavailable or been discontinued. But I do try and find like similar colours or similar products that will be suitable as a substitution, basically. Uh, but yeah, don't forget. And all the discount codes too. Lots of discount codes for lots of places. Thanks so, so much for watching. Please do let me know what you think. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.